Hey guys, welcome back. This is video two of the long tail build series. In the last video, we kicked off this build by stripping the paint off of the donor frame. We then designed it in BikeCAD and finally rendered a concept of it. In this video, we'll get the parts to be reused off of the donor frame. And then we'll do a full scale drawing of the frame. We'll kick things off with the upright portable bandsaw. Pretty much all of my projects start with this little saw. Uh, I use it to cut just about anything. I don't even own a proper hand saw. Although I do want to pick one of those up at some point in the near future. I had the video sped up, but I slowed it down for this little part here because I wanted to show you guys that if you're cutting something that's not laying flat on the table, it always has the uh, has a tendency to pinch the blade. And in this case, it pinched the blade, and it it uh, I thought I broke the blade, but it didn't break. It just came off the track inside the the saw. Okay, my original plan was to leave the C tube welded to the bottom bracket and uh, use both of those together as is but after cutting the down tube I noticed that the C-tube is not welded completely to the bottom bracket instead it was uh, mitered to fit the down tube and then welded to that and the C-tube uh, is not long enough to cut and re-weld so I purchased a new C-tube uh, this time around I found the perfect tube the C-post end has a 1.2 1.22 millimeter wall and the bottom bracket end has a 0.9 millimeter wall and uh, that's like just perfect for my needs so that worked out really well. This is the down tube I cut off. I decided not to use this because it's an oversized tube with a 38 millimeter diameter which is pretty large. Uh, here is the top tube beside it. Top tube is already pretty large diameter to begin with so uh, to get my down tube, I will cut a top tube off of another frame I have sitting around. Kind of feel bad cutting this frame up, but I guess uh, repurposing it is better than just having it sitting around doing nothing. And here I'm extracting the rest of the parts. I got a comment from Oishi Sakana to use an angle grinder with wire wheel to get the paint off. So I gave that a try and uh, it worked pretty well. It made a bit of dust, so I ended up bringing it outside to finish up the tube. Now I'm cleaning up the bottom bracket shell. and the head tube went through the same process. The 
the dropouts these are slotted dropouts I won't reslot them instead I'll slot the chain stays and seat stays and those will just uh, fit around the dropouts Here are the prep parts. And this is a 3 quarter inch diameter 0.035 wall tubing. I ordered it from Aircraft Spruce. I'll use this for the chain stays and seat stays. All right, now that I've got my tube situation all figured out, it's time for a full size drawing. The first thing I'll do is draw the axle line. This is uh, basically the foundation for the drawing. Uh, the C-tube and head tube angle, bottom bracket drop, they pretty much all reference this axle line. Next, I put down center lines and angles for all the parts. I have a bike CAD printout that I'm referencing for that stuff. Once the center lines are drawn, I then draw the uh, tube diameters. For the dropouts, I just throw the real thing on the drawing and trace around it. And for the last part, I'm drawing a top-down view of the chain stays and wheel clearance. If you draw this uh, right below the frame, you can use the side view of the frame to reference your measurements. Be sure to make your center line parallel with the chain stay angle. I didn't do that because I forgot, but I think it'll be okay because the chain stays are almost on my frame are almost at a zero degree angle. They're very close to zero. I think they're only like two or three or something like that. Here I am making sure all the parts will work for this build and uh, that I didn't draw anything incorrectly. It's always nice to just throw your parts up there and make sure your tubes are long enough and your you measured your head tube properly and all that sort of stuff and last but not least thanks to all of you guys who donated to the channel thank you so much I really appreciate it thank you all right that is all I've got thank you guys for watching and I'll see you later